for anyone still wondering if this is a safe movie or a prank, allow me to introduce you to the most unexpected aviation marvel of our time, the Navion, made in Congo. At first glance, you might think someone took the top half of a plane, slapped it onto a boat, and called it a day. And well, you wouldn't be entirely wrong, but let's not judge too quickly. This is no ordinary plane, no mere water vessel. No, this is a hydroplane, a machine so versatile it can take off from land, cruise over water, and if necessary, land gracefully when out of fuel, provided you don't mind getting your shoes wet. Designed and built from pure, unfiltered Congolese ingenuity and the finest selection of locally sourced scrap, this aircraft is here to change the game, or at least test the limit of physics and everyone's faith in aerodynamics. But hey, why fly when you can half fly, half float, and fully stress out your passengers? The Navion is basically what happens when an engineer looks at a plane and a boat at the same time and think, why not both? The top half screams, I believe I can fly, while the bottom half whispers, but don't get carried away. Built entirely from Congolese scrap metal, this aircraft is a patchwork of salvaged parts, metal sheets, and sheer willpower of its creator, Gabriel Lumumba. He took a look at expensive western aircraft and said, nah, I got this. While Boeing and Airbus spent billions on research and development, Gabriel spent, well, let's just say, he didn't break the bank. But what he lacked in funding, he made up for in determination, brilliance, and possibly a concerning level of confidence. Honestly, if the Wright brothers could see this, they'd probably be speechless, either from admiration or pure confusion. Now let's talk about the power. Every plane needs a strong, reliable engine. The Navion? Well, it has an engine. Is it from a jet? Nope. Is it built for flying? Also no. But does it do the job? Well, it hasn't crashed yet, so we'll take it as a yes. There's a beautiful simplicity in using whatever you can find and making it work. Who needs aerospace grade turbines when you have scrap metal and a dream? The fuel efficiency? Questionable. The horsepower? Debatable. The sheer audacity? Unmatched. Fun fact if it turns out of fuel mid air, no worries. Unlike normal planes that would plummet to their doom, the Navion will simply glide down into water and become a boat again. Problem solved. <laughs> Who needs emergency landing when you have a plane that comes with a built-in plan B? And by plan B, we mean 
a big floating apology. One of the Navion's biggest selling point is that if you happen to crash into a lake, which, let's be honest, is totally a possibility, you won't die, at least not immediately. Unlike traditional aircrafts, which hit the water like a thrown brick, the Navion smoothly transitions from, oh no, we are going down, to, oh wait, we are just sailing now. Some call it an engineering marvel, others call it a loophole in the loss of aerodynamics. We call it innovation at its most unpredictable. You know how normal planes have that little flotation device under their seat? Well, the entire Navion is one big flotation device. Inside. The Navion seats a select group of individuals, the pilot, the co-pilot, and the three brave souls who have clearly made peace with their fears. <laughs> Luxury? No. Functional? Probably. <laughs> Will you willingly board this? Well, that depends. Do you trust Congolese scrap engineering more than gravity? <laughs> the seats are there but comfortable might be too generous of a description. The pilot and co-pilot are strapped in, giving off serious military mission vibes, though one can't help but wonder if the seatbelts are for safety or just to stop them from bailing out mid-flight. One thing's for sure, if you're getting in, you better be strapped in for a ride, literally and emotionally. And the Navion is not the only seaplane made in Congo. We also have this one that was spotted in Lake Tanganyika. Its specifications are currently unknown. But hey, it works. <laughs> and so, as the Navion, made in Congo prepares for its next grand voyage, we have one question for you. Will you step inside? Will you trust your life in a homemade amphibious plane built from scrap metal and a dream? Or will you rather stand on shore, taking photos hoping that this engineering marvel doesn't turn into a submarine halfway through? Yeah. One thing's for sure, love it or fear it, this is innovation at its boldest. And to Gabriel Lumumba, we say, Bravo sir, you are either a genius, a madman, or both. Either way, we are watching.